Hello Libra and welcome to my channel. My name is Peace. I'm with the Footsteps to Peace. I'm a psychic astrologer and an intuitive life coach. If you are interested in a personal reading, please feel free to check the description box down below. There you'll find a link to my website, thefootstepstopeace.com. Also like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it and hit that notification bell so you can be updated the next time I post a video. All right, Libra, just so you guys know, I did change up my channel quite a bit if you didn't notice. Um, if you look in the description box down below, it'll tell you my new schedule. Schedule. I'm, I'm going to be doing mutable signs on Mondays, cardinal signs on Wednesdays, and I'm going to be doing the fixed signs Fridays, divine masculine uh, and feminine on Saturday. And I'm now going live on Instagram, and I also go live on Facebook every new moon and full moon. So uh, if you check out my link tree down below, you will get all my information and you can know where to find me, okay? All right, Libra. So the first card that came out is the devil, okay, Libra, the devil, and we also have the wheel of fortune crossing that which means that is your challenge your challenge is overcoming the devil whether that's an addiction whether that's a, a person in your life maybe for somebody that you feel bound to maybe you feel bound to them because of money um, maybe you feel bound to them because of sex maybe it's a third party relationship as well it does not have to be a um, you know, sexual relationship does not have to be romantic. It could be with your family. It could be with your friends. It could be, you know, at work, just something here that is toxic, you know, um, that you need to overcome because I feel like there's been an injustice. Maybe there has been some type of imbalance in the past and I feel like a decision is need to be made, but I feel like, you know what, Libra, you guys get this one a lot. You know, the two of swords is about making a decision. I feel like for some of you, it's like, you don't realize that you're not making a decision is making a decision decision to not make a decision and then the universe makes it for you maybe it's you know you're really addicted to your money maybe you're addicted to sex maybe you're addicted to whatever the fact of the matter is the devil shows up in the upright and the end the justice card shows up in the reverse and your challenge is letting the wheel turn okay you know there is some type of third party situation here maybe in the past and that's why there was this injustice um, you know, the devil can be about a, lot, about a lot of different things and maybe it could also be overthinking because you do have the two of swords and the, uh, the page of swords here. So there is a hierophant here. The hierophant here is all about, uh, you know, uh, making a commitment. Maybe this has to do with court. Okay. Maybe there's a court, something here about court and, and that is ending here for you and there's some type of communication that's going to be coming out. Libra, I'm going to say get the fuck out of your head, okay? Get the fuck out of your head. Quit fucking sitting here and not making decisions. It's like do what you know you're being called to do and quit it with the whole like I'm just going to sit here with my fucking arms crossed and the blindfold on sit while you're sitting right over the devil with the the injustice. It's like all you are is like one decision away from making uh, entirely, you know, changing the entire trajectory of your life. If if you're willing to make the decision but here you are you know sitting here bored lonely discontent come on libra you know you got to make a decision for others of you libras i do feel like there is someone here that you're dealing with who is toxic who is more along the lines of their money and i say that because yeah and there's a masculine here that could be very toxic that you've been dealing with um but and this is seven of pentacles um at the bottom of the deck so this i do i keep feeling money even though i only see well i see the three of pentacles and the seven of pentacles but i do see the hierophant here so maybe that has a lot to do with um and that's really funny look at this you guys the key the hierophant is what holds the key to unlocking you from the devil if you're willing to use these keys. See how they're both sitting here? So it's like you've got the devil and the angel on your shoulder. And it's like, which one are you going to let win? This is a very spiritual connection between the two of them. And we can't have the light without the dark. And we can't have the dark without the light. We have to have them. There's always a shadow side. There's always a shadow side to ourselves. But here it is. It's like, I feel like you've already done this. And it was, you know, maybe had something to do with some type of a court, court, especially when I'm looking at the justice card and the hierophant. The hierophant can be a judge. For others of you, this is a banking institution. This is about maybe you're needing a new insurance company. Maybe you're overpaying, um, but you've been staying with this company for far too long and you need to look at, you know, the company now and really decide, are, are you really getting your return on your investment? <clears throat> 
Also, you know, this is all about your value systems too, because this is a Taurus card. So what do you value more? You know, your money or do you value your friendships and your love? Do you value, you know, your relationship more than you value your health? You know, it's like some people find their value based off of how many dollars are sitting in their account. And some people are just a lot more humble than that. And they don't care how much fucking money is in their account. So it's like this being your overall energy. It's like, yeah, you have enough saved on the side it's like now you have all of this that you could share your abundance but and but you keep you hold on to that or it's like or somebody needs this and you're just looking at well I don't know do I have enough or do I not have enough so you know sevens can be uh, an internal struggle and fives are external so you do have you've got a 10 here which is your challenge you've got two threes here which does tell me that it's about a third party relationship um, and maybe somebody here that you know you're needing to talk to maybe you do need to talk to somebody who can give you some really good advice but and then I do see the three here it's like you're crying over spilt milk but you're not realizing what is being on offer to you from the universe the thing is is, is you can sit here long enough but if you don't take that cup or extend that cup that's your lesson especially when it comes to the hierophant sitting underneath that okay so it's like needing to reach out and I do see look at you've got the three here okay one two three he's looking at you've got the three here one two three you've got the three here one two three you got the three here one two three and you got the three here one two three Okay, so that is too many threes for me to be able to ignore the fact that, and then when you have the devil here, um, for some of you, this is greed. This is either you're greedy or someone that you know is very greedy, okay? And you don't want to share. And, you know, the challenge is the wheel of fortune. It's like, this is your destiny. This is your destiny to help someone else out. And it's like, you're pulling back on your destiny and what you know you should be doing. And for what? Because you can't make a decision, okay? So with that said, it's like, again, you know, Come on, Libra, you know, you guys are the worst when it comes to making decisions. It's like you guys will just sit here forever and you, like relationships will pass you by. All these things will end up just passing you by and life will continue to move forward because you just keep yourself stuck. Oh, well, I can't do this because of the past or, oh, you know, I want control. For some of you, it's just a control method and it's not making you very happy, Libra, because this is your card in the reverse, which goes to show me that you're the one that's in the reverse. You're the one that's connected to the devil, Libra, not this other person. Someone here is wanting to make you know or they're waiting on you to take some type of initiation towards this relationship and get over your indecision okay because the king of wands is somebody who is willing to step up and keep going and they don't stop you know they're great initiators when they say they're going to do something look it's like he's ready to just pop up at any point in time he's not just sitting there this person's just sitting here and they're like i'm not moving I'm not fucking going nowhere, okay? I'm going to go ahead and keep myself bound to this devil. So if it's a thought process, because again, that's what this is all about. So you or the other person is definitely, um, I feel like you're spying on each other or you're spying on them or they're spying on you. You know how it goes and you know what role you fit in. So, but I do want to say that someone here is hoping that you will extend an offer, but I feel like that's your lesson, with, especially with the Hierophant here. I want to look at the Hierophant. Eight of Wands, there it is. Communication with the Sun and the Queen of Wands. So this is about a commitment. You know, are you willing to make this commitment? There needs to be some type of, and maybe this is even travel. Someone here wanting to travel uh, to maybe a sunny place to go see this Queen of Wands. And the King of Wands is what is wanting that. So like I said, so if I, I got a couple scenarios. So one of the scenarios is, says that if you don't hurry up and jump on it, um, Libra, you're going to be missing out. Okay, that's what I'm really getting out of this, that someone else is going to be willing to take the leap of faith. Okay. Um, and it's like, you know, you only get to an offer ever so often. And you think that you can wait around for a lifetime and that this this situation is still going to be here, like that job or that whatever relationship or no, it's not always here, especially when you're sitting here with your arms crossed and you're looking at all the things that you're losing and you're not really realizing what you've gained, okay? 
So I don't know about you, but I would rather take that Ace of Cups instead of taking these three other ones that are just empty, empty cups. The universe is trying to offer you something, Libra. You just have to be willing to go out and take it. The three of pentacles is in your hopes and fears. I think that you're hoping that, you know, I think that you're waiting on your, uh, for some reason I'm feeling like a higher wisdom here. I feel like you're waiting on like some type of a sign. I don't know why I'm getting that, but I am waiting. I feel like you're waiting on a sign from the universe. Why is the devil here, spirit? Please show me the devil. Ace of wands, there it is. Ten of pentacles, ten of swords. Yes, Somebody here offered something and maybe it did have to do with finances and somebody here got their feelings hurt and it was to help end something. Two tens and the ace. It was like the opportunity for others of you. It was just sex. You offered, you know, you came in, you, the two of you, you know, were intimate with one another. You thought things were going to be long term and you found out that all it was was a one night stand. Okay, there it is. One night stand. He's got his, you know what, in his hand. So I do want to say, you know, you got to be really mindful about that dirty little devil right there. And, you know, so the wheel of fortune is here as being your challenge because it brought in an imbalance and it's time for you to get over that. OK, again, the ace of wands was an opportunity, whether you extended that olive branch or someone else did to you. I feel like somebody here, and, and I do feel like it had to do with some type of a family inheritance because I do see all the different generations here, the mom, the dad, the grandfather that's just sitting over here by himself. Nobody's even paying attention to him except for the dogs, okay? So this is about loyalty. The do dogs are the ones that are loyal, okay? So really looking at your loyalty because I feel like there was someone here who was loyal to a fault and they're the ones that ended up getting hurt. Um, you know, Libra, again, you know, people get their feelings hurt because you guys do take so fucking long to make a damn decision. And, you know, people are like, I gotta go. That's what the queen of, uh, the king of wands is about. He like, he, he knows he's like, I'm ready, you know? And so it's like, you gotta get ready and do something. Spirit, please show me, please show me the love life for the Libra. Okay. You got two Libra. You got new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And one more, Spirit. One more. Okay, yeah. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with one another and forgiving and learning. Uh, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Libra, you know, if you could just actually open up and quit, like, sitting sitting here doing nothing and actually go out and have the conversation that you need to have. Um, I do want to say that maybe in the past, it's like somebody here had their arms crossed almost. It looks like this person over here. Look at, look at his face, how he, she's talking and he's not even listening. He's like, eh, whatever. And then you've got him here doing the same thing. Okay. We got to overcome that. You know, other people, when they're talking, um, it really is a lesson. And I feel like, you know, when you're willing to make this commitment, Libra, it's going to be the happiest thing that you could have ever done. I do feel like the two of you guys definitely could be a power couple. If this is a love situation, you have met your match, Libra. Or Libra, yeah. Um, I feel like you just have to be willing to take the leap of faith and be willing to go on the journey. Uh, so I do want to say I do feel like there's some type of communication when it comes to this. And it, for others of you, this could have something to do with a child. Um, but there has to be some type of forgiveness, especially for whatever this injustice was that had been done. But you just sitting there underneath the devil because there's been an injustice and you doing nothing again, it's not looking good for you. Okay. Um, you know, and that's when time is wasted. Yeah. Page of swords. You know, I feel like somebody here really is spying. I feel like they have left their options open. I do feel like they are wanting to come in and offer something stable and grounded, but they're really working on, you know, trying to put down heavy burdens and heavy loads right now. And like I said, this could definitely be a child to you, or maybe this child is feeling very burdened. You know, if this is a child, um, because I do see the Ten of Pentacles here and the injustice. I do feel like if this is a child that you are dealing with, um, that they have a lot of shit on their plate and they needed a little bit of help. That's what this Knight of Pentacles is all about in order to help them put down some of their burden. So if you have the opportunity to help somebody, Libra, you should probably do it. 
four of cups is the four of wands there it is so it's you know the four of cups is you know um sitting on the stability like wanting something stable but again there you are sitting here you like you're just hanging upside down you're just wasting time um you know when there could be celebrations and excitement but it's and it's like you have the world in the palm of your hand but you're gonna have to sacrifice something in order to be able to have this two fours is like stagnancy it's just like the hanged man you're not going anywhere nothing's moving very quickly and it's like you got to do something Libra you got to get out of this whatever this is that you're doing uh, like I said this could definitely be someone else that you are dealing with Libra but it does say wait don't rush into it allow nature to take its course I think that that already happened um, especially when you have the Hierophant here Hierophant is all about lessons and and waiting and that kind of stuff but it's funny with the destiny wheel of destiny card showing up in the middle the Hierophant is usually like hold on but then you have the Eight of Wands, which is like, get going, okay? Make that phone call, shoot that text message, send that email, any one of those things, and, you know, help. Help. All right, Spirit, please show me Libra. The communication is going to be really important. Transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Long, love conquers and transforms all things. But that's only if you're willing to take a risk. It's like, but if you keep waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. Look at, you've got waiting here. You've got waiting here. Here I'm doing anything there. You've got waiting here. And then you have waiting again right here. And then the Hierophant is all about waiting and slow motion it's like get the wheel turning libra it's like you know you you're standing on the top of this ball right have you ever seen those people who like stand on top of the ball and then they run on top of the balls but they have to like get the right momentum right that's your challenge is getting the momentum and getting the ball rolling libra make some decisions and start moving forward with it and stop second guessing and trust it says trust look trust Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. You gotta accept things for how they are, learning how to forgive, um, and then learn the lesson. That is what uh, the Hierophant is all about, is learning how to overcome the devil. It's the, I don't have enough, I can't, um, you know, what about this, what about that? Well, there was this one time that they, you know, da 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 da, da or someone else did it, and you're holding somebody else accountable for something somebody else did, or you're not taking the opportunity to get to know somebody on a deeper level because of maybe your preconceived ideas or somebody, you know, telling you something about somebody. You need to really make these decisions all on your own and learn how to forgive and learn the lesson. Forgive yourself as well because I think that that's one of the biggest challenges. Anyway, Libra, uh, if you can, check out my uh, uh, description box down below. Um, I have all my information down there and if you are interested in checking out my link tree that has the links to all my social media platforms and I hope you guys will join me over there. Anyway, you guys don't forget to like share and subscribe you know i appreciate it and we'll chat again next week take care